Hello and welcome to Thank You Thursday on the 12 week personal development programme. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's Wednesday wisdom about Immanuel Kant. Um, very interesting how we organise wisdoms and today I want to help you organise your gratitudes a little further by realising there are different ways to focus on gratitudes. When we focus on a gratitude it helps us to focus on something that's made us feel happy. So this is in the event of like you're feeling a bit down, maybe having a bit of a wobbly day and you want to feel better, your mind and all your neurons don't always differentiate in the same way when you think of something traumatic, it's like you relive the trauma. So when you put your focus on something that's happened that is happy, you relive that happy memory too. And so that takes your body's chemistry into that positive emotional state at the top of the cycle here above my hand into the yellow you're pushing up towards the dopamine the oxytocin um, rather than leaving your body in a state of stress and with anxiety and cortisol and adrenaline and getting rid of all of that stress in the body so gratitudes are amazing for moving your body's chemistry into a more positive place as well as your mind so today's gratitudes, thank you Thursday, is about what have you been grateful for this week? Now last week we talked about a default gratitude list. So on any time when you've run out of things to feel grateful for, what are your defaults? But today I would like you to focus on this week. What have you been grateful for this week? And it could be something a little default, different from your defaults. You might have had something really amazing happened in your life. You may have just had a cup of coffee with a friend, a phone call, nice email. Might even have been something that's made you laugh on the television. Um, maybe you've been grateful for a... It could be one of many things, getting a new job, um, making new contacts. It could be that you've actually resolved a health issue or you've lost some weight. There are so many reasons you can be grateful this week. And if you haven't got anything that you feel grateful for this week, then maybe now is a good time to be grateful for having that default list in your life. Having those default gratitudes may be the one thing left, but don't let go of that, having those defaults. So that is today's thank you Thursday. Is It's like a thank you for whatever amazing has happened in your life this week. For me, I'm actually really grateful for a client that I spoke with yesterday afternoon and he made me think something a little bit differently and there was a particular word where I was running through a series of, of lessons with this client and, and a series of, of little points um, that I wanted him to become aware of and he said, but what about, and he brought up a new question that I hadn't thought about before. So I'm grateful for that because it always gives me room for growth when somebody comes up with an extra question and I love growth and progression and improvement. So I'm really grateful for having a new word in my life from yesterday. I'm not going to go into it because it is personal to the client, but it was definitely something that made me think and, and something that I hadn't thought about over the last six years. Um, so I'm always grateful for having clients, grateful for having gratitudes list, grateful for the fact that my body can heal itself emotionally and physically by changing my body's chemistry using gratitudes and thank yous. And I would like to thank you for taking part in this challenge. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and to make sure you get the notifications throughout the entire channel, hit the notification bell below as well. I'll see you all tomorrow for Feel Good Friday. Hugs and healing to you all. Bye bye.